Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're back in Arx Fatalis. We are continuing where we left off. We need to find out who killed Orbifax, I believe is what his name was. Felonar's quarters, those are locked. Yep, Orbiplax Planix. So that's locked. The heck, man. The indecencies of these people. Okay, we're not even going to try that door. Is that supposed to be a hidden door? <laughs> it's not very big. It's not very hidden. Okay. Teleporter hidden behind a um, shield of some sort. I'm going to leave that closed because we don't need Yelsid to be in here. Oh, this is our room. Let's see here. There we go. Nice quaint room. Food. Ooh, a backpack. Oh. Let the hoarding begin. There's these sounds that I keep hearing. They're like the 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 ratmen. Every so often. Let's go this way first. Sleep well, guys. We're gonna need it. Thanks. <laughs> Night. Night. Yeah, yeah, good night. For those who can sleep. <sighs> ah. Oh no, here we go again. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. He swore blind he wouldn't snore. <laughs> Okay, there's a ooh. What a relief. Uh, let's try and get some sleep. Okay. So this is where the sacrifice happened. Oh no. It's this heal. Ooh. Definitely want to load that one. So that's number 2. Library and laboratory. Well, well, a new face. No doubt the king sent you to me for advice. As you can see, I look after the kingdom's library. What can I do for you? Um, do you know anything about these, the situation? Wouldn't you have drawn this pentagram in blood? Anyone who knows anything about the magic arts would know that this symbol protects us from the demon. Since our astronomer, Fallon Orbiplanix, was murdered, I can feel that something evil is hanging over the whole of our and what about these rituals? Who killed Orbiplanix? Darkness pours from these rituals. The death of Fallon Orbiplanix has all the signs of black magic and its evil practices. Fallon was a good man, righteous and steadfast. I suppose he found out the truth about who is carrying out these rituals. 
Hmm. Anything else? I come in search of a book which contains pictures of the outside world. This is the Ooh. book you're looking for. Take it. It's yours. Awesome. It's a book for uh, Gru. Okay, let's move that over here. Oh, I don't want to do that. Can't read it either. So we can't see the pictures that Gru will get to see, but those are for Gru. How about you? I am Felnor, alchemist of the kingdom, and friend of the late Fallon Orbiplanix. Who was Fallon Orbiplanix? Fallon was our astronomer. He died a few days ago. I think he was about to bring to light a terrible plan but he never got time to say more about it. I'm investigating the rituals and the death of Fallon Orbiplanix. All I can tell you is that these two things are linked. I have here a note that Fallon gave me the day he died in case anything happened to him. I never really understood what it meant. Maybe you will understand. Okay. So what do we get? Okay, he gave us a note. And he gave us a key. Six becomes four when you take the first from it. The first multiplied by the second, four is the second, makes the last, and the last multiplied by the first, which is two, would make 16. So 2, 4, 8. Right? 6 becomes 2, um, 6 minus 4 equals 2. The first from, okay, this first multiplied by the second is 8. So 2, 4 equals 8. To confirm it, then you take 8 multiplied by the first, which is 2. That makes 16. So 2, 4, 8. Whatever the heck that has to do with anything. All right. We can now do some alchemy if we wish. Let's check these chests here. Ooh, hello. Hello. I think we have this one. I'm going to take it anyway. And yeah. Oh, also. I'm not going to risk that. Alright, so cool. We can now do some alchemy if we wish. Uh, it's pretty nice that we're able to do that. You doing okay, little rat? Okay. <laughs> so we now have a book for Gru. We now have a key for Orbiplanic's room, which we uh, we know where he is, or at least his room is. Okay. Headed room. I am the new astronomer. I was assistant to poor Fallon Orba Planix, and since his death, I do my best to look after the observatory. Sweeberus, what can you tell me about the rituals? Do you know who killed Fallon Orba Planix? Really, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'm still just a novice in my art, and on top of that, I hate violence. <laughs> All right. Told me that he took the place of Orbiplanix. So he knows what I'm talking about. He knows that Orbiplanix is dead. How would you not know what I'm talking about? I think he might be... I think he might be a bad guy. Look at that, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, cool. 
So I'm coming back for you. I, I think you're an evil person. Just saying it now. All right, so we're going to go investigate the room of orbital planets and see if we can't find anything. Maybe that number that we uh, sorted out is for his room. I mean, I mean, that's what I would expect since it was from him. Where else would we require that? So this way it was the second room, I think. Yeah, or flanks. I think this is the key. Then it's this key. There we go. Lock. Oops, did not mean to memorize that. All right. Uh, that's interesting that you can take that. Anything below the bed? It's a curtain on a rod. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Number two. Four. Okay. Ah, here we are. Fallon's precious notebook. Odd, his, uh, he didn't finish that sentence. Very well. Now that all the members of the council are present, let us begin. Felnor, what have you found in Fallon Orbiplanix's notes? Let me see. Ah, Fallon mentions something about the guard, Ursa. He says he saw him practicing dark rituals involving animal sacrifices. Perhaps it was Erzog who was behind Fallon's murder. Or perhaps it was even the high priest of the cult of Akba. Oh, listen to this. I discovered the existence of a cult which wishes to invoke Akba onto Arx. Always suspicious of that, Erzog. Guards, throw Erzog into the cells. Felnor, who is this Akba I heard you speak of? Akba is a powerful devil, the god of destruction, that this cult is evidently trying to invoke and bring back to Arx. It would be blasphemy to allow this act to be perpetrated, and a total disaster for every living being on our planet. Yes, yes, here, listen to the next bit. This evening, I shall contact the Noden to ask for their help. The Noden? The Noden is the dimension which regulates the existence of gods. They maintain the universal equilibrium by preventing an imbalance in the power of gods. If Fallon really had been able to contact the Noden, it is possible they may have sent an emissary here to stop the coming of Akba. An emissary? These emissaries are creatures of pure energy when they are on the Noden. They are sent to cut off the energy channels which might drive the gods out of their dimension. I have heard amazing tales of emissaries who have the strength of 100 men or who can perform the highest forms of magic. Others who are invincible. These emissaries are called guardians. Somewhere in the fortress is a cult which recites impious prayers to a fragment of a meteorite made entirely of a material called Kolsk. This rock is said to have come from the place where Akba was born. Normally, this substance is indestructible. Huh. In truth, Felnor, only a guardian of the Noden could destroy this meteor. How could one of these guardians stop the incarnation of a god just by destroying a piece of rock. I'll trust you. the impious prayers of the priests <laughs> and their hideous sacrifices which are focused by the meteor. It provides a channel of energy for Akba, who, when he has gathered enough, will be able to complete his incarnation in Arx. If that happens, destruction and suffering will be unleashed upon us. 
We must find and destroy this meteorite at any cost. How shall we find this guardian? I have a fragment of Kaltik in my laboratory, which may be of great assistance in finding him. Let's be clear about one thing. We know that the cult of Akbar has a great presence in Ox, and that it is gaining power. Luckily, we were able to stop Urzog, the cult's high priest, before it was too late. But other worshippers could still invoke Akbar. We must find this famed guardian of the Noden as soon as possible. In addition, the war with the Ilsids is very troubling, Majesty. What should we do about it? Carlo, we need a solid plan of defense. I fear the worst. Nobody knows exactly what these Ilsids are or who commands them. Gods, bring me the fragment of Kolk, Amshigar. While our army is facing the Ilsids, we will need your help to find this legendary guardian. Am I not the I guardian? I deny that this task will be harsh and lengthy. In fact, we have no idea what the guardian will look like, or even if it is already among us. I mean, I have faith in your capabilities. Here is the stone, Your Majesty. Good. Put it on the table. Take this stone, Amshigar. It is a small thing, but the guardian is the only one who is capable of destroying this fragment of meteor. Above all, take great care. The way the story starts, I'm the guardian, ah. right? Kevin. Welcome, Guardian. Yeah. Allow me to explain your next mission. You know the rules of the Noden, the dimension of gods and demon princes. No being of power is permitted to leave this dimension, but Akbar is preparing to invade a world called Arx. A group of his followers is presently trying to invoke him. You know that this must not be. We cannot fight Akbar from here, for we can impose nothing on the gods. So we shall send you to destroy this cult which worships him, and without the adulation of followers, his power will diminish to acceptable levels. I shall destroy this cult, Master. It will be no simple task. For this mission, we shall confer upon you a specific skill to allow you to destroy the cultic rock which is linked to Akbar's power. It is impervious to mortal attack. This rock is the source of the problem as it channels the energy given by Akbar's followers. Soon, Akbar will have enough energy to enable him hmm. to complete his incarnation on Arx. I understand, Master. Well, I have a contact in Arx. Your contact died during the transmission of this message. You will have to find your own way when you get there. This is extremely troublesome, as the shock of the passage is disastrous for a Guardian's memory. You may be disoriented for a while before your memory returns and you recall this conversation. But there is no other way. Yeah, so Prepare yourself. You are about to be transported. I will bring you back when you have completed your mission. When the game starts, we're shocked but with that light. That means that um, Shigar is the guardian. It all makes sense to me now, and especially his constant desire to help others. I am honored to meet you, guys. Uh, is he? Stone is I mean, in my mind. is he always wanting to help people? Stop the coming of. <laughs> Is complaining. Delay. First, I need to gain access to the secret temple. There, I shall destroy the stone by simply touching it. May the wisdom of the Noden guide you, Amshagar. Don't let us delay you further. All right. Okay, so we are the guardian. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. We haven't been this way yet. I'm sure it's gotten something. Hello? What's this for? It's another highlighted. And 
that's weird. Herzog, I presume. Tell me why you killed Fallon Orbit Planix. Are you the high priest of the cult of Akba? Oh, mercy. Don't kill me. Oh, guardian of the light, I am no priest. I swear it. The rituals were only to bring my dear wife back from the dead. Tell me more, Herzog. They contacted me, but always remained hidden in shadow. The priests assured me that if I prayed to Akba and performed the rituals, my wife would return to me. But it was all lies. Oh, please have mercy on my wretched soul. Give me another good reason to spare your life, mortal. I can help you. The entrance to their temple is through the metal door and the yellow tulip. They gave me the password. Fat Kapel. Okay. That's... Good. Thank you. So that's going to allow us to be able to get into that door that they keep asking, What's the password? Greetings. Greetings? Greetings. Alright. Let's, uh... One more day in paradise. Let's go to Gru first. Hello, there's two of these snake people. I hate... You have to repeat this once again, Lunshire. Find Krahaus and return it to us, or you will regret your slackness. You know that I've been doing everything something, something, something. For some reason, he didn't speak. This is where Enough. all the you monologue goes. Have no interest in your sob story. Results are the only thing that can save you from the expression of our disappointment. Now, I'll get my best men on it. Sister, we'll stay and help you as always. All right. You're, uh, you're doing t top ten. I don't understand any of this. What was this conversation about? Listen, no offense, but I think it would be best if you stayed out of this. This concerns something internal to the kingdom. All right. Food was all right. The wine was bad. So we're gonna go see um, Gru first. Then we're gonna go to the la Not the Daisy or whatever it was called. for that. Thank you. So that was that was a spell, just by what she was showing. All right, let's head this way. We're gonna go back to Gru and try to get things taken care of with him give him his birthday present and then we're going to head to the lily or whatever it was called
Wait a minute. Uh, this way. Alright, Spike. Okay, that was the named one. The heck? Yeah. That rat speak to me? Are these rats becoming the rat men? So the reason I'm going this way instead of going through the tunnel that leads to the um, to the keep is because there was a door over here I remember that we need to break down because we now have pick uh, pickaxes we should be able to break it open. I wanted to check it out and see what it's about and then we'll go straight over to Gru and then we may end there but we also may just go ahead and head on to the next part. We'll see. Yeah, so here's this. Nothing there. Oh, nice. So we get to test this. Cool. Okay, so yeah, that's taking us straight back to the keep. Alright, that's uh, that's done. We should have probably went back into the keep and did the one portal that's like right inside the keep. But uh, we'll get it. We'll get it later. Okay, that's not the way we need to go. We're going over this direction. And this should lead on to where Gru is. If I remember correctly, it's been a few. Alright. So here we go. Yep. You come in. Thank you. Should be clear. I mean we've gone through this whole area here. clear so far yeah so we're gonna go talk to Gru give him his present and then see if he gives us anything once we do that then we're gonna head on to the lily oh hello Get moving. ouch got him I want to save that spell, the, the heal spell. I'm going to use this though. I think I, I, I think I hit the wrong button. There we go. And it is over this way. Gru, I choose you. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we also have the teleporter in here too. Are you in there? Or do you, you're down there. Okay. He is fishing. Bringing you a gift. All right. Before I do that, though, 
I am going to open this up. Nice. How does that please you? Oh, yes! Oh, grew like that! Oh, you very nice! You grew best friend! You is know how to make grew happy! Now, now grew give you present for birthday too! Get, take that! That grew amulet! No troll attack you when you got that! Thank you! Nice! Does that mean we leveled again? <laughs> Did we level? All right, let's uh, let's check this out. Yeah, we leveled twice apparently. I'm going to add one to endurance and one to strength. I'm gonna bring this up to fifty. Bring this up to 50 as well. Bring this to 40. Bring this up to 45. I forget which ones aren't important, but this one I am definitely going to bring up. Okay, we have four more points. And this is red because of the fact that we're wearing armor that isn't stealth-like. Hmm. I'll just put the rest of the points in there as well. Alright. Nicely done. So now we need to go to the Lily. Or whatever they call that place. We have two teleports uh, taken up. So, I'm guessing there's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine teleports that we can actually have active. I wonder if that equals all of them. Okay, from here... Need to go back this way. Oh no, back towards this way. Because we go up or something. Up or down, I forget. But either way, it's at the end of this hole that we're going now. That's cool. I'm glad we got that taken care of. Uh, now we just need to get to the, uh, the next part, which... Um, Which is going to probably be the hardest part. He, you cool? Bugger off! Yep, you're cool. <laughs> I mean, he's not happy, but he's he's not gonna kill me. The heck is with that noise? It's because they're invisible. I'm pretty sure. But still. So annoying. Not knowing where they are. Okay, back. Minute, where was that portal at that we got the ring from? I thought there was a teleport around here. Anyway. Hey doggy, we're back. Before we go down there, let's see if uh pop Me not like Akba. Okay, okay, you're good then. Go with you. Password Fat Ka Pell. 
Um, yeah. Okay, this is a Yilson. He would wreck my face. All right, welcome to death. All right, before we go down, I want to put some spells on my bar. Okay, I'm gonna do the same spell. This has been our bread and butter. There we go. This is gonna probably get very hairy, I feel. That's very easy. There we go. Fireball back up. I see a lining, but I don't know the first. Let's see. Yep. On him, Akbar's rock. Do I even want to carry something like that around on me? That's pretty cool. Yamtar is a tour. Yep. I don't know if anyone heard you. Oh, there's two more. Two more, okay. Again, Akba's rock. I guess we'll take one just to see if it's for anything. <laughs> Brother Pesquam, remember, the first locks the second. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> oh no, I cast the wrong one. I am. Yes. My name is Brother Shagar. Are you blind? Yes. It was my personal sacrifice to our great and beloved Akbar. Soon may he reign supreme. Okay. Yes. Soon. Akbar is our savior. May he be blessed. Through his good work, we shall once again live on the outside. 
our children will at last see the sunshine, and we shall play in the newly grown grass. It shames the nation that most of them don't believe in Akbar. I understand that people find the human sacrifices a bit scary, but it is the only way to salvation. Pray with me, Brother Shigar. You know Akbar needs our faith. May I come closer to the meteor? I wish to pray even closer to Akbar. I have so much to say to him. Oh, didn't you know? Master Eserbius has activated the security system. Only he and the High Priests can get into the Meteor Room now. Apparently, a Guardian has been sent by the Norden to destroy our beloved statue. <sighs> what terrible news. Akbar, protect us. <laughs> okay. This a physical? It's not a physical. Okay. There's something over here, I thought. Yeah. No magic permitted beyond this point. All right. Security room restricted access. Guessing that's the way we need to go. We have an intruder. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to do that to you. Not really though. Get that yog going. Oh, come on. But oh, are you? See what it's actually putting? It's putting the Z. That kind of... That's what we need. Did the Baldies again? There we go. We have an intruder. Oh, how did you see me? Keep casting. No, please do. <laughs> uh, Brother Galava Galavanus Glavasius Glavasius If you should ever need to switch the security system off please note that your access code is 113 the p uh, protective force field should not cause you any trouble. <clears throat> Brother uh, 
Patrizio and Brother Pasquale will help you to switch off the other security systems. Oh, hello. And there's a key. Let's get that key. 113. We'll take that note with us as well. Alright, so we have two parts of the quest. Locked. Ooh, we got a new one. Where'd it go? It's this one. But no spells strengthen. Another note. A ring of greater intuition. Take that. A golem heart. Take that. Okay. Brother Patrizio. This heart is one of the keys to the security system. Take good care of it. Bell Field. Okay, cool. Is that an invis potion? I do not yet have the skill to 70, do that. Seventy or seventy object uh, knowledge. Crazy. Okay. A lot of the spell fields here. Okay. 113 Golem Heart. Uh, the first is the same as the second, I think it was, something like that. The first look, um, remember this the first locks the second. First locks the second. No, we don't have any damage spells up. Let me guess another dispel. Oh, we'll take that too, because I'm tired of casting this. One, one, three. First and locks the second. Hey, oh. And now it's gone. All right, we're going to memorize this one. There we go. Golem Heart. Okay. One, one, three. I don't know, I'm going that way. Did I forget something? The 
first unlocks the second. Key ring. Okay. What? Come on. What? So, pressure plate over here. That's taken care of. Okay. First unlocks the second. Okay, okay, we're we're missing a component. So we put the golem heart into the golem. Golem followed us here. We didn't flip that lever though, but it is trapped. I wonder if... Oh! Yeah, we gotta take the damage, I guess. The first. Unlocks the second. One, one, three. What am I missing? Let me mess with this for a minute. Alright. <clears throat> I've been pondering this for a while now. And through the notes that we have, we have a note that says that the heart is part of the key. Which we put the heart in, we put them over on this over here. Hey guy, you doing good? Alright. I'll turn that off. I don't think that relates to anything. This is down... Now, what I was thinking is that the lever, this lever is the first, locks the second. But that makes no sense. Because why would the lever lock each other? And then you would be going back and forth. Which one is the one that's supposed to be down? I think they're, supposed, they're both supposed to be down. That leaves this. This stupid door. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not this easy, is it? The first locks the second. Oh my goodness. Been thinking about this forever. Oh, that isn't disgusting. <laughs> uh, it's a bridge made of sinew and bone. Well, that's over with. That was a pain. All right. A thing up here. Just thinking there for a second, should I kill him? And then I saw this. Oh, hello, Golem. Yum. 
He's drunk now. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> nice. Cool. So I think this guy needs to go. And he may be blind, but he is a priest of Akabar. Yum. And I feel he needs to be not a priest of Akabar anymore. I believe in you, sir. I believe in you. I'll take that. Yep. Welcome to the. Ugh. All right. Before we continue on, uh, let's get some spells loaded. that one spell well that's easy I don't know if that's gonna be a good spell to have up but we're gonna try it anyway I know who you are and why you're here Orbaplanix must have had time to contact a note I should have seen to him sooner Guardian, your presence here is of great encouragement to us. This proves we finally have the power to bring Akbar to life here, and that he is more powerful than ever. As for the two of us, my sweet, we shall continue this ceremony later. Inra Nika Dam Rianama. The heck? He is on me like crazy. Okay. Need to stop jumping. Need to stop jumping there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stop jumping. So I'm kiting them in a backward circle. Okay, I am now stuck. Should have. Hit him number three. Nicely done. It actually hit him. Okay, we need a heal. Smooth. I don't like that you can catch up to me that fast. Especially when you have your arm cocked like that. Jeez, man, get away from me. Get away! You're bad! You're bad, Mr. Snorkels. <laughs> bad, Mr. Snorkels! Okay, okay. Stuck, getting stuck. He's getting too close, and that doesn't help me. He slows me down more than anything else by doing the jumps. Okay, come on, just die, just die, just die. <laughs> Got the kite down. Got it going. Are you dead? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, bless you, stranger. I don't know who you are, but you've made a friend today. Akbar right. will have to look elsewhere for his meal. I won't forget this. I promise. 
All right. We did it. All right. Um, let's check around here before we do anything. Okay, there's a door there. Security room. Emergency exit. Um... This can't move it or anything. So he knew I was coming. He saw me. Okay. So that the fact that this room just looks the way it does. Can I even loot you? No. Very good. What? 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 What's very? What's very good? All right, I can touch it and it becomes dust. I don't believe it. I thought I'd be able to destroy it. All right. So it has some kind of protectant on it. Um, let's see, what does my book tell me? I give the book to Gru. Meteor withstood my attack. It is stronger than expected. I must ask Fillmore about this and explain to him what happened. Fillmore. 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 Fillmore the the magic guy? I, I'm guessing. Alright. So I guess I can't do anything else with this. Except for being bombarded with Yeah. Okay. Doesn't seem to be hurting me either. I can go this way which takes me to where I started this is the stairs that lead right back out or or I can go over this way to an area that I have no clue where it is hmm Check out what this is. It's showing that I've been here before. Have mercy, master. Whoa. He threatened me. Mercy! Come, come, Urzog. You know full well that we must all do our bit for the cause with what feeble powers each of us possesses. But take comfort. Your modest sacrifice shall not be in vain. So, he looks and kind of sounds like the astronomer, doesn't he? The new one? Alright, so that's where that goes. We need to go this way. I mean, either way it would have led us right back to here. It would have just led us to different parts of it. So that is craziness. Uh, I think what we're going to do is probably end. But I want to get back to the get back to orcs and see if we can't find out anything 
um, that as far as uh, Felmer or whatever his name is. Alright. It's nice to see there's guards again. Back at the old keep. Bless you. These people. They need, to, they need to take care of that stuff. Their sinuses seem to be all out of whack. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that, uh, that whole situation there, that was, uh, it's crazy. Get out of my face, little rat. That bats. Oh, I can't even follow him to kill him. Is with all those noises I keep hearing. Maybe if I had sea invisibility. Hey, oh, you're standing out here now. Apparently, there's a powerful wizard who can summon demons by the bucket load. All right. Let's go. Do I go this way to the keep? Always the same. <laughs> um, always the same. go first this way because apparently these guys aren't doing their job may you save the fate of ox Okay, so he is gone. Surprised they didn't um, turn him into a Yilson. Let's head back over this way. The door is closed. I don't think that was closed before. Shin Cash. In what way is the king beholden to the order of Adernium? It's nothing to do with your quest, guardian. Suffice it to say that there is a death. Does the king have something which belongs to you? The treaty. The king must honor our treaty. That's all. Okay. Why is he not there? And then up here, I 
still think this guy is um is that priest, but I may be wrong. Okay, he's gone. Not liking this. Not liking it at all. Something must have changed since I've been gone. Take some cough syrup for that. Majesty, our outpost has been attacked by the Ilsids. This time there were no survivors. What's worse, we have not found the bodies. Perhaps they have been taken. Great heavens, where could they have been taken? We do not know. They were swift and merciless. They are a formidable enemy, sire. I suppose these Ilsids are indeed part of the cult of Akba. Under the orders of Aserbius? I don't really have any proof, but we first heard of them when the cult of Akba appeared. But there's something else. Sweberis left the kingdom recently. He must have been able to tell that we were about to discover the truth about him. What truth? Sweberis and Aserbius are one and the same. Yep. He is behind Fallon's murder. Now I understand why Aserbius was waiting for me at the temple. He knew I was coming. So, you fought with him. Finally, a bit of good news. Amshagar, tell me that you have destroyed the source of evil once and for all. No. I was unable to destroy the meteor. Instead, I felt my energy draining away. Good Lord! How can that be possible? Felnor! How can you explain that? Hmm... I was afraid this might happen. The stone is now in resonance with Akba, and the energy channel drains both your physical and your magical energy to feed Akba. In fact, by touching it, you have sent your own power to our worst enemy. I think I understand what you mean, Felnor, but even my very best men have always failed in this quest. Amshagar um, is not one of your best men, sire. He is a guardian sent by the gods. If you think there is the slightest chance that I can destroy this meteor, I will find a way to do it. You must protect yourself against the meteor's energy drain. During the War of the Meiji, the kingdom was given an artifact of immense power by the Order of Adernium. Without it, we would quite possibly have lost the war. This artifact was composed of two pieces, Krahaus and Zohark. Any magician who possessed both of these items became immune to all energy draining effects. Mm. It was thanks to this protection that the war was finally won. Well then just give me this object. That's where it gets complicated. In fact, when this object was given over to us, a treaty was signed with the Order of Adernium by Paxalis, father to our current king. This pact stipulated that we were to return the artifact to the Order when they requested it. I see no wrong there, so? So, twenty years later, a group of rebels rose up from God knows where, killed my wife, and kidnapped my daughter. She had only just been born. And more to the point, they also took Krahaus. Luckily, we prevented them from stealing Zohark. The order turned up a few hours later and demanded that we return the whole object to them. We could only give them Zohark. And ever since, they have been demanding that we honor our pact and find Krahaus once more. We have never found those rebels. We do not even know if they are still on the face of Arx, as they were only heard of that one time. Nevertheless, the Order assures us that they can still feel the presence of Krahaus in the fortress. Very well. In the fortress? find Krahaus and Zohark. Now go, Amshagar, and save us from this demon. Find Krahaus and Zohark and destroy this accursed meteor once and for all. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.